everybody, it's Kelly C with Cleopatra Art Studios and Mr. John will be along very shortly. Um, tonight we are gonna paint our project of the week, work out some snags, and it is the gnomes of summer. Super cute. So I might have to angle the um, camera down a little bit. We'll see. You don't need to look at me. I mean, you got me right here. So happy Monday, everybody. Do your Monday dance. Manye, super excited. Manye, not quite as good as hump day or Friday, but still okay. So hopefully you guys are having a great day. Yours will come packaged a little bit different. I basically threw this at Megan and said, hey girl, give it a wrap. Sweet. Okay, so here is your stand. You have the back, you have the front. It, it always... Um, it seems like it makes sense to me, but then I'll go to a paint party and ladies are like, what do I do with these pieces? So it's nice to have a video that you can refer to. So that is the bottom piece. Here is the top piece. I would paint them and then glue them together. And when you glue them together, kind of pay attention that the glue's not migrating, that it's not doing like the Ouija board technique. So you wanna keep those holes perfectly open if you're, if you're generous with the paint and it's gooing down through, clean it out because your gnomes won't fit. Let's go with that. Okay, I'm gonna tilt down just a smidge so you can see what we have. So I probably won't paint all three tonight. My favorite bad boy is that surfer gnome, super cute. So I'm gonna take my um, painter's Me. tape. John's here, hello. And your favorite bad boy You're, surfer gnome. You are my favorite bad boy <laughs> surfer gnome. But if I had to pick another one. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I like this bored, short, wearing guy. So the thing to know when I get this question all the time is, do I have to paint the back piece? You don't unless you have a lot of time and paint on your hands. Why is it there? It's there to elevate, or it's a lift piece. It lifts up. Um, your piece so you don't run into your nostril, basically. Yes, yeah, because there. it's got the groove there for his beak. See, I do know. Okay, I'm gonna refer you. <laughs> if you're just joining, we're painting the bad boys of summer, the gnome trio, which is our project of the week. But we have, oops, I gotta say, I got, we got something to celebrate. We got something I'm coming back up. So here we go. Why are the dogs out here? I don't know. Ready, guys? Woo-wee! 23. We're at 23,000. You're backwards. You're like at 35. We're at 20. I'm backwards? I don't know. This king shows things. And upside down. I'm at 23. Now you have three needs to flip over. Put the, the two in, put the two in that hand. Flip your three upside down. That didn't look right. I already did a recording. Wait, I think you put the, the two backwards. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, you know why? The computer needs to, or the uh, software needs to switch. Here we go. In order to... Who's driving this bus? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. It's us, right? It's us. Wait. Is it this way? No. Yeah, like that. That's Ta -da! perfect. Ta-da! 23,000 on our Facebook page, and we couldn't do it without you because, honestly, I was not the most popular school uh, kid in mm -hmm. high school. <laughs> so we could not do it without you. We love what we do. It's just a joy to come to work every day. It's a joy to work for his wife every right. day. <laughs> right, babe? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to tilt this down. Tilt this down, and if I could talk to you, you know, like maybe paint this white, that'd be perfect for me. So that we can glue it, so I can show I them. This. Uno. Uno. Okay. So I'm. you got a Plumera. That's this guy here. A Plumera. Okay, so what I did, let's do it that way. And then that way. Right. There we go. No, you're not. There it is. It's good to see this. Okay. The plumera, you have a hat, you have a brim, you've got the beard. The only part of the gnome that you need to paint is his belly. Let me see. His belly. On oh jeez. On the um <laughs> You had a lag time. Um he's orange here. I don't know, I might keep that, I may not. Um so I'm not gonna, I don't wanna waste my paint or time painting all of it. If you do, go ahead, but know that the next piece is gonna cover, right? Does that make sense to you, John? Yes. Okay, perfect. 
All right, so I'm just gonna work on one gnome at a time and that's what I would recommend that you do so that, you know, life gets in the way, right? Sometimes and you get all your paints ready and everything out and then your dog bark, barks on the floor or something, you know? Mm, <laughs> you know, it, it happens, it happens. Wait, so, wait. wait. Yes? I, I might have put, look at the hat on your design versus Oh, okay. Yeah, Oops. So yeah. he he gave me the wrong gnome. But well, honestly, it doesn't does it matter? I don't know that it matters. I just grabbed, I just grabbed it. Um, I'm not 100% sure that it matters though. Um, I've done these no. enough at paint parties that it seems like they work. Follow the picture. You do you boo. Follow the gnome. Okay, so we have our fashion colors here and don't forget when it's project of the week, you get all the paints I use, the paint colors. Mm -hmm. Well, so. are you doing something special for the project? Or oh, because yeah, of because of the 23, and um, we've never done this. It's only $23 for the three gnomes, the stand, the paints, the paintbrushes, what? the sponges. Boom. So, yep, I know. You'll never be like that again. Okay, so the Plumera. So I may go darker with this, but this is the watermelon color that I made that I love so much. It's some, kind of fun. It's a fun mm. little watermelon color. I'm going to definitely use that for... The board, board, the board. I'm gonna use our um, bluesy goosey for the board, also, and we need a little white. That's it. That's it. Okay, so you guys decide. Do you want to paint with a sponge? Do you want to paint with a paintbrush? Typically, smaller pieces. I typically do paint with a paintbrush, or I'm sorry, a sponge. Um, but I don't use a full sponge. I cut it down until they're manageable. So don't forget to sprinkle tonight because somebody will win. And who won last week's um, Sunflower Dome is Michelle N. And I can't say her last name. <laughs> Meaning I can't pronounce her last name. But I will let her know that she won. So. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. So we probably won't include gray because you can just make gray with white and black guys, right? You're good like that. Yeah, but it's your gray. It, and it's my gray, <laughs> but it's, it's also my white and black, right? Well, okay. <laughs> I know, right? Well, okay. Let's, so we're, get technical. let's not get technical, but we're going to get started. Okay, so I know I'm going to go ahead and use the lime. The lime is a little bad. wimpy, but it's not too bad. So you might have to do most likely two coats. Go ahead and bring it down because we're covering it up anyway with another 3D piece. 3D. 3D. So 3D. let me know, thumbs up, do you love gnomes? Are you a gnome lover? Are you a gnome lover? Are you a gnome lover on a gnome lover list? I'm a gnome lover from way back. Yeah, you're gonna end up, <laughs> we're gonna get like hit up with all these weird emails now because you know, like big boy, big brother, big boy's watching. Big boy's <laughs> big watching. Boy's hey, big boy. <laughs> or listening. Okay, I should let it dry before messing with it too much further. So let me know, do you love gnomes? Do you not love gnomes? Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, here we go. I'm getting some comments. They're all from John, okay? Dana Perry says, oh. Who is it? Dana. Hey Dana, how you doing? Hey, hey, back at ya. Um, let us know, do you love the gnomes? Do you not love the gnomes? I'm turning it down. Do you love looking at my nose? <laughs> was that, that was last week, right? Last week we looked right up your beak. And remember, you obviously don't have to um, stay for the whole thing. We know life gets in the way. You can come back and see, oh my gosh, um, <laughs> how it turned out. You can wait for the photo. You can also oh, yeah. know that we upload this to our YouTube channel. And um, then you can always reference. Sherry says gnomes are great. Oh, Sherry, Sherry R, is it Sherry R? She's got, she's got a little gnome problem. <laughs> she's, she's fantastic with the gnomes. The gnome love. Gnome gnomes. I'm just gonna paint the feet. So keep it thin, couple thin layers if you've never painted before. <laughs> Sherry, she's had done sparkled. Woohoo! <laughs> or sprinkled. She's already hitting those fancy drinks. Oh. Oh, what? I forgot. I'm at work. Oh. <laughs> John's at work for his favorite boss, and he can have a cocktail if he wants. But he didn't bring one, so it looks like you're out of luck, man. Oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, right? 
He's like, make the dogs bark or something, people. I can figure it out. Okay, so a lot of these colors we're using tonight are our new fashion colors. Yes, we plan on selling them. No, we're not ready yet. Why? Because I can't find a container that I like. We're getting there. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you guys? You didn't have to paint that, and I just did. Boo, and this is why, because the next piece covers it up. That was practice. We do a special known garden yearly. With oh. the grandkids, that's pretty sweet. That is cool. So, um, why would you paint the first layer? I, well, I needed to do his belly. I got distracted. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I love this guy. He's so cute. I've got the his board shorts. The board shorts. The well, I guess he only just has a surfboard, but you could get fancy with well, his. Maybe he's got board shorts under his surfboard. Yeah, maybe he does. Well, maybe he better. does. Okay. All right, so the Plumaire. So I'm just using a round paintbrush. This is in a pack of four at Walmart. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's where I got it. Okay, beard. I get asked all the time, how do you, lady, how do you paint beards? A couple different ways. If you have a rake brush, that works great. I'm not seeing it really. Um, but I'm just going to do wet on wet. Oh, here it is. This is a rake brush. Oh, here we go. A rake brush looks like a rake. Right, there's pieces missing. It helps you get that texture. So I like to do a base coat of gray. Number one, it colors the background. Ooh, so how's your day going, John? I'm probably the only husband in this whole 23,000 that knows what a rake brush is. Yeah, you'd be surprised. What else do you know? That's it. Okay. I'm spent. That's my base coat, I'm gonna let it dry. If I come in right now with my little texture to make it look like hairs, it will just... Schmear. Well, you're not, you're gonna just see the wood. I don't know if you can tell. Wood's a, or I'm sorry, gray is a pretty good primer, um, but um, I'm gonna let it dry. Let it dry first. It's a little dark in here tonight, I don't know why. Maybe it's just my eyes. Hmm. I'm looking at the replay and it looks okay. Maybe it's just on this one. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe. <laughs> Girls, my jeans are a testament that just because you can doesn't mean oh. you should. <laughs> <laughs> I just brightened it up. We're good. <laughs> oh, you you do know there's a bright. It's a MacBook and there's a bright. Okay, now we're, we're now we're good. Okay. <laughs> Whew, I can't breathe. Okay. Ta-da. So it's going pretty good. Um, so the surfboard is etched, so it will um in the hands. So it will slow you down on the surfboard and the plumera just a little bit. What's a plumera? Plumera is this, this uh, it's a Hawaiian uh, flower? Yes, no, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like That's maybe, maybe not just in Hawaii, but in any kind of tropic. It's a tropical flower. Which color of tropical flower? Um, because it has a name, it has a name, uh, right? It has like a plumera. name. <laughs> So you're the, you're the only guy out of 23,000 that knows what a rake brush and plumera. Hey, Deb, how this you doing, hon? Oh. Hey, Deb, Deb. We're painting our gnomes of summer. Well, at least one, the surfboard guy, because I want to show you how to put the stand together that John's painting right now. Oh, I am? Yeah, you're oh, painting shit. it white, right here. For reals? For reals, paint it white. All These right. ladies want to know how to put it together, and I'm going to show them. Donna says, hello. Hey, Donna, how's it going, girl? She's so excited, she's got a son home, I think, or soon, soon to be home. All right, so for skin tone, I say, hey, just paint the same skin tone you have in your family. Yes, you can get fancy with, <laughs> I'm watching John paint. Um, you can get fancy with bringing on all the colors and making kind of a peachy tone, um, but I'm gonna just mix the white with a dot of, brown because you know I have a very very pasty white skin that's got a lot of orange my freckles grow together and maybe you know what I mean but maybe your family has that luscious mocha then go ahead and do that or maybe you want the feet to be black like full-on you know black to represent shoes go ahead it's your painting I just try to be careful so I don't like ooze over the side and that's another big question we get. Like, do I paint the sides, Kelly Sue? Or do I leave them brown? That's up to you. 
Some of the, you, it would drive nuts leaving them brown, knowing that there maybe is a little bit of uh, paint that spilled down. Um, mm -hmm. That doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> but it does bother um, our friend Colleen H, and she does have a solution. She just mixes up some brown to match, you know, adds a little black to the brown, and then just touches up where it's necessary. But if you like the color, just go ahead and color, you know, like carry it through. It's completely up to you. What a great, did you still want my sponges I was using for paint night? Oh, man. oh my gosh, girls. Just when you think he's perfect. <laughs> I know it'll come there. Oh my yes. goodness. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing? Oh, I can't respond because I'm busy. That's okay. I'm going to tell you something, Cheryl. When oh, you Cheryl. open your box, I got you mistaken with somebody else that needed a replacement part. So when you open your box, you're going to have this piece. You're like, why is it in my box? It's because I got, I had a brain day. And today I went to reach for that part and I was like, I had to, I had to beg John, like, please, please, can I have this again? <laughs> so it's just one of those bikes from the tiered trays from our biggie box. And so I just, I don't know what I was thinking. You got a bicycle. It's a bicycle. It's just the bicycle part. Okay, so I'm going to bring in our watercolor or watermelon color that um, we make. I love it so much. I do, I love it. Oh, she's Hey, Brenda. I know she said hi to John, but. <laughs> and Brenda, yes, your, um, your uh, was it a gift? It made me laugh this morning. So thank you for doing that. So well, it wasn't. I never did see nothing fun. No, no, I'm not going to share it with you. So if your paint drips inside your lines and it's driving you nuts, mm -hmm. by all means, take a toothpick and then just clean them out just a little bit. You know, I go back and forth. Sometimes I don't mind and sometimes I want them clean. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. That's pretty well. That's pretty quick. From skunk to trunk now. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Oh, you did an amazing job, honey. Oh, shush. <laughs> you did, you did. I'm, my I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Why are your wet wipes dry? They're dry wipes. They're dry wipes. Some, <laughs> if I leave them open, just you could put a little water in them if you wanted to. Okay, well, let's talk and I'll show you. How to put the texture in the mirror. I'll show you both with the rake brush and just a small detail paintbrush. So I'm, I gave my um, beard gray base coat. I came in, I'm gonna come in, I'm sorry, and I'm gonna paint it gray again, kind of pretty quickly. And before it dries, I'm gonna put the texture in that will look very beardy. So this could be, it's kind of a wet on wet technique. Some of you guys are very good with the dry brushing technique. Yeah, I'm not that person. I'm not that good at that. So while it's drying, I mean, while it's still wet, I'm gonna pick up my rake brush. I'm gonna grab a little black and I wiped it a few times so I don't have like big clumps. So I'm just gonna start off the beard and then just do kind of like Squiggly brushes. Oh, show sure, Morsi's under a tornado watch. That sucks. Ah, uh, wait. Ooh, I'm uh, gonna say wow for that. What? Well, I'm trying to remember where she is. You're not in West Virginia. I'm trying to remember where she is. Um, we used to. Oh, we have stories when we lived in Illinois. Okay, so if I keep mixing, it will over mix and just blend into one. So you can leave it alone. I'm gonna come in and grab some white. Mississippi, that's right. Ooh. Mississippi. So when um, we moved to Illinois from Montana, we had never been in a tornado watch. And so we always, you know, they said, when you hear the sirens, seek shelter. <laughs> and we did every stinking time. And we were middle of Illinois, guys. And so... Yeah. I was in the basement with the kids more than I was not with the kids. Like, we'd sleep down at there first. at first. And then finally, I told a neighbor, man, I'm tired. And she's like, why are you tired? I was like, I was in the ba Every time the alarms went off, we had a storm radio. Every time it went off, we'd pick, wake up the kids. I'd take them downstairs because John traveled a lot. And she was like, girl, we only do that when we see the tornado. 
know. So other than that, it was on the porch after, of the cocktail. Yeah, after that, after that, we got a lot of sleep. Okay, so I have what's considered pretty good secondary texture. You could keep going with the rake brush if you wanted to, like dry it, do it again. But I like to pick up my detail brush, get it wet, get all the water out, and then I'm just kind of spinning it to make it pointy. And then I'm just gonna come in with a very little paint. Remember, my paint's still pretty wet. And then just put some little curly cues in here. And you can do it also. I like to put some at the top so it doesn't look like I forgot that area. And then I also come in with some white. So Brenda said um, she loves all things gnomes, but um, sometimes they can get a little bit expensive. Maybe you ought to remind oh, everybody what we're so doing. So Brenda, they, they can, yes. Specifically the bigger ones. But this is our project of the week. Plus we're celebrating our twin, or was 23,000. So the three pack with the paint brushes and the paints is 23 bucks. So this may be something that's um, in your price range. I don't know what your price range is, um, but it is only this week. And I, I understand some of the bigger ones are, you know, they take longer to cut, they're more material, and they can be a little harder on the wallet. Oop, so I don't like that. So how do I fix that? You can wipe it off if you want to. I'm just gonna come in with some white and gray and kind of break it up a little bit. Kind of like misdirection. Oop. Okay, so that's what I have. He's got some, some fine, fine beard material there. Let me clean my brush. These little brushes dry out really quick. There you go. Okay. I posted the link and reminded everybody on the Okay, yeah, so it is a really, really it's affordable. Um, you know how to get me, she says. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, You're speaking my language. I, there's no way that I expect you all or any of you to buy every single time. You know, I mean, you only like what you like, right? Um, John, John's <laughs> like, no, yes, you just buy it all. Um, but honestly, I understand, yeah, totally. My job is to present it. If, if you like it, go for it. And you know, like if you can do it, great. If you can't, great. It's there when you're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that little nosy thingy on. Show sure, Marcy loves gnomes too. She really, she, like, she really does. Yes, she does. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's, like, she's got hey. some gnomes coming. She's got some, I think she's, uh, she's got a porch cleaner gnome coming. So this is our pale yellow that we have. I'm gonna put that in the middle of our plumeros. Is it maybe it's a plumera? No, I think it's a plumera. Okay, and then the surfboard. Let's face it, it's gonna take a while to paint this surfboard. A couple ways you can attack it. You can paint all of it and then come back oh, and just paint the flowers, gosh. or you can come in and very carefully go around all the flowers. Well, which isn't me it. at all, but I might do that. Hmm. And don't forget, he's got little hands there. So make sure you keep the feet color, unless, you know, like their shoe color for the hands. Okay, so I have Bluesy Goosey. That paintbrush is too big. Maybe he's got aqua socks. Okay. <laughs> I have Bluesy Goosey, so I think I will go around. It's a, got great coverage, so I'm guessing one coat is probably gonna do me if I go slow. Bluesy Goosey. What's for dinner tonight, guys? We have time. <laughs> we have time while I'm doing this. This is a fine oh, paintbrush. Oh, yeah. We are doing, are we still doing pork chops or sandwiches? Yeah, we're doing pork chop John sandwiches, or pork chop John sandwiches on Kaiser roll with pork red John. onion and feta cheese. <laughs> I sauce. pork chops. Pork, oh, yeah. Pork. Yeah, that's not what we're having at all. Chop. <laughs> pork chop John. Okay, so if you're not familiar with a pork chop John sandwich, it is a like a pork loin piece, maybe an inch thick. Pounded, it's super great for tension. <laughs> Pounded with a mallet till it's really, really thin. Salt and pepper it. Roll it in breadcrumbs, like in Parmesan cheese. You know, whatever makes you happy. 
pan fry it, finish it off in the oven, serve it on a warm toasted Kaiser roll with red onions, not for me, please. And you're not getting any kisses if you eat those. <laughs> and he's okay with that tonight, probably. He's like, I'm gonna do it. And then- A little, um, a little vinegar, a little- Yeah, a little vinegar, a little mayo. Yeah, a little mayo. Um, delicious. I like them best on, um, uh, what are you call it, croissants. But why didn't you buy croissants? I couldn't find them. You couldn't find them. That's what I found that looked closest. And that's fine. Yeah. They, actually, I love Kaiser rolls. Brenda says, leave off the red onions and cheese in. Ha <laughs> ha. Sherry's. And Maria you. Know. says she had a spinach, strawberry, avocado, and feta cheese salad. That sounds delicious. Oh. She says she has to eat at three. What? Central time to feed her hubby before he goes to work. Oh, I get that. Yeah. I get that. Donna had leftover smoked chicken thigh meat that Connor turned into some fajitas to them. Yum. You eat early. We're in the t same time zone. Typically, we eat a close to eight, though, by the time we close down the shop. Deb T had some chicken taquitos and homemade salsa. We got to compare salsa recipes. Okay, yeah. He's, he loves his salsa recipe. He's pretty proud of it. Sherry eats at five, like clockwork. Really, Sherry? Well, that, that makes is, sense. Yeah. When we have a pink party, you come in and eat before the party. Donna says she's just eating now. Love it. Mm. So Connor, um, so she's had one boy home from school already with break. And Connor's having his break this week. Sweet. Angie K says hi and she sprinkled. Hi Ange, how you doing? I have the piece. I have your piece. I'm sorry. I need to get some stamps. I can throw it in an envelope. Oh. She's the one that you made that extra paw for the the gnome. I said I needed a paw. Looking for the man to shut my paw. Yeah. It's sitting there right on my computer at the well, shop. Brenda had roasted baby gold taters and boneless skinless chicken breast. Okay, you're kind of fancy. You win. Yeah. I think she you started won. with the taters, so they must be pretty good. She's proud of the taters. Yeah. Did you know I read somewhere oh. or someone told me that Washington State actually makes grows more potatoes than I don't Idaho? know. No, I don't think. I wouldn't have thought that, but somebody said, yeah, they surpassed it. I don't know if that's true or not. My daughter probably saw it on, on Insta Snatch or whatever it's called. <laughs> All right. Sherry says she eats early so she can digest and walk a mile before she goes to bed. Okay, well, I don't go to bed till about 1 a.m. <laughs> so, yeah. well, last night I didn't. Last night. <laughs> Last night was a two two drink night, and I went night night pretty quick. You were snoring early. Yep, I didn't wake up early. And she says she's doing okay, but she's feeling a little under the weather. Oh the no! Pennsylvania weather change. Ugh. Well, I lived in Pennsylvania, eighteen years, and there are some blue moments. There just are. I agree. And that sun comes out. Woo wee! The lilacs burst. Love it. Cheryl says we got the best cherries up here, though. Ooh. We always had cherries at Flathead Lake. And then we'd buy them, and then after we left Flathead Lake, like, not a kid would eat a single cherry, guys. And they're not cheap. So here we go. So it's a little clumpy, but keep in mind yeah, that... Yeah, the ears. The Rainier, yeah. yeah. The nice paint job, sure. will go flat um, and it will shrink at the rate of 33%. So any texture typically is gonna be gone. Um, so I gave everything just one coat. I'm just kind of eyeballing where I might have missed. And I think it did great. So Bluesy Goosey is a great oh. color. I'm gonna clean my paintbrush and go in and do those. Cheryl said she just, or uh, Sherry, sorry, said she just checked. Idaho's still number one for spuds, but Washington's Perfect. number two now. So I don't know if he was blowing smoke, but I remember someone said that recently. Well, maybe, just maybe we surpassed somebody else for number two, I don't know. Maybe. Angie K loves the colors. Cheryl lived in Washington for three years. Where'd she live? Did you? Yeah, Cheryl, where'd you live? What's your social security number? What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 
to school. Sometimes I'm like, I'm probably asking way too much information. They're like, we just want to keep it kind of light. And you want a date. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's up in Silverdale. Oh, yeah. So before we moved here to uh, Spokane, we lived in um, Maple Valley. So we used to go to Silverdale. Pretty. Super pretty. Super unaffordable. I mean, super, is it unaffordable? So expensive. Donna on wants to know if we just put um, The line, the, no, he's been up on the site, but we did change the prices. So you have to type in, um, I, I would type in gnomes of summer, no, in, summer gnome. It's in, it's in the thread. So I wonder, is it, it should be fine. We had some people purchase them yesterday because I do send out an email on Sundays saying, here's our project of the week, typically. Not always, but typically. Boom. Oopsie. Boom. There we go. So, and you may have him already. I mean, we had him up on the website before. Just not for this price. Because yeah. you know why this price is so special? Hold up your numbers. I, they couldn't see me right now. Oh, never mind. And this is why. Because we are at 23,000 people on our Facebook page. That's just crazy. I mean, because we're just doing what we do. Goofing off. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and having a great time with you guys. Just doing what we do. And that just blows my mind. That... Thank you for... No, no, no. She said her hubby worked for in the Navy. Oh, my gosh. So that's why she's in Silverdale. Oh, wow. Yeah. I knew I was reading that wrong. Miss Carol Douglas is in the house. Carol, boxed up all your stuff. Mm, she wants to know what the weather today is. It was chilly today. Crap. The we weather had, is crap today, yeah. uh, Carol. We had all four seasons the last couple days. It was sunny when I woke up, so I walked snow, the dogs. By the sun. time I finished walking the third dog, it wasn't sunny anymore. All right. Dip, 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 dip. We had a little snow today, a little rain. Lots of rain, I think. Yeah. And then Oops. cloudy overcast. Cloudy though. So, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Yesterday it was kind of the same. But Carol way. loves it where she's at now. Yeah, she said that they uh, had a good show watching the Thunderbirds down there. Oh, really? Been, uh, oh, an air show, yeah. Yeah, like an air show. Well. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, are those dry? Sure. Okay. Well, whatever. Okay, so the way this works is the feet. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start putting them together. Just this one. I check. I hope they fit. <laughs> just, just one. When you take the feet and you have a flat side and a rounded side, you want the flat side down, but you have to leave the tabs open. So I was just at a paint party and they had put the top pieces on, it was really hard to get to the feet. So I would put the feet on before you get too carried away. I mean, they're not sexy. I mean, unless you're really into gnome feet, um, which I'm not gonna judge. Hey, I don't judge you, lady. Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. Um, but just know you might have to pop something off. Okay, so then the plumeire goes here. Now I'm gonna definitely come in and do some little jazzy little oh, signs. Lines. Okay, this is where you're going to use your surfboard piece that looks like a shark kind of went after it. It goes around your nose for placement, right? Wait, right? There you go. For placement, so you know exactly where to put it. It covers that foot, so it's hard to put it together if you didn't put the foot on. You know, if you try to sneak it underneath there. And then he just glues on top like this. Okay. That's pretty good right there. Pretty cute. And you have two more. So you get three of those. Uh, is he the tallest one? Let's measure. People are always asking, how tall are they? Um, and I'm Donna like, says that so she tall. went and looked in her summer box of projects, and she's already got this one. Yeah. I I'm thought so. so. I can remember. If you include the tabs, he's almost eight inches, but otherwise he's seven and a half. Yeah, because we did have him for sale, but, you know, people weren't really buying for summer yet. So I thought, well, let's sneak him out. Okay. Let's talk about the, the stand. Now, don't forget you have two more, but I wanted to show you with this. So John kind of goobed up this one here. You want to clean that out before 
You get too far ahead before it dries. Well, see, I did that on purpose, so... Oh, yeah, Dem demonstrative. Demonstrative okay. stand of death. So I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to clean it out. You can use a Q-tip if you wanted to, but mine are packed away. Tongue. Nobody wants to stick their tongue on the paint. It's not going to kill you, but don't be a licker. Okay. <laughs> I know. I know where your mind already went. Okay. So he painted them. Paint them as many times as you okay. want. Make sure that they're cleanish. You're gonna um, stick them together. You can use Insta Glue. What's it called? What's that fast glue called? Crazy glue? Yeah, like a crazy glue if you wanted to. Just don't over glue because you're gonna get that Ouija board effect. Come on, people. Oop. Okay, here we go. Which dog is laying outside our door? Groaning. Scratching like, oh. Much, it'll it'll slide around and you're not looking for that so all I want to do is I'm gonna take a, a, dry a dry wipe I'm gonna place it on there and just kind of tap a little of the extra off you won't need to do this if you're using super glue let's try to call it insta glue okay, here we go and line it up and I would hold it in place for a few minutes okay that way it's not doing the sliding effect we're gonna fade to a commercial. Commercial break. Chamois. Don't forget to do this, guys, because someone will win. Someone will get it. You'll get this one. Okay, so I don't have him all glued, so I wanna show you how um, I do this. So don't forget, it's gonna be one tab. Nope. Whoop, what I do? Sure, no, Cheryl's gotta run, she says there's less power. Oh. She has to save her battery. Okay, girl, Good go. Luck, girl. Go, we'll, we'll still be here to catch the replay. Okay. Oh, Angie says a popular glue to use now is stick fast. Yep, stick know? fast is it was uh, it comes in like thin and thick, and it was very difficult, very difficult to get over like even after COVID. I don't use it for paint parties because you know they clog up, and women like to be able to reposition. But if you're really good, okay. Obviously, I'm making the 12 year old and him really happy tonight. Um, if you're really good with your approach, let's call it that, and you never need to pop anything off, that's a great one to do it. But it's very much like um, super glue. It bites Just, now, huh? Yeah, like right now. But it comes in a really fine nozzle. Um, so I personally, I have used it for myself and I enjoy it when I'm painting by myself and I'm in a hurry. But I personally don't do it for paint parties. So it's kind of like know yourself. So basically I take two glue... Oh, maybe, maybe just one. One blue. St oh, where's he go? He goes on the end. What? Never mind. Do over. I'm gonna just put a glue dot and a glue dot, and the glue dot helps him stand up. I do not glue him in here because I like to think ahead to storage. I want to lay him flat to um to store. So here we go. I just pressed him down with the glue dot. <laughs> Nice job. <laughs> I was very nervous. <laughs> He's super sexy, just how he is. I like him so very do much. We have, how are we doing on time? Uh, six forty. Wow, we did really good. Well, I'm yeah. not going to start another one, but I can take a second and, and put them together. So Miss Carol says that she sprinkled, sprinkled, and sprinkled. Ooh, -hoo, Carol. Yeah. And if you didn't hear, your box is packed, your label's printed, it's ready to go. So it goes out in the morning. Um, wow, whatever. Everyone wants to know if you got her email from February 11th. Oh, who? I did, oh, it's not coming across. Who was it? Brenda Barnes wants to know if you got her email from February 11th. Oh my goodness, I don't know. That's, we, that's so here's the thing to know. Powers that be, I'm looking right now. The powers that be required me. Nope, that's not you. Barn, B, A, oh, here we go. Don't, oh, I did not. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Reach out tomorrow. Um, we'll take care of you. Um, no, I didn't see it. Thanks for asking again. I'm going to put a reply in here. Yeah, put a reply. The powers that be asked us to change our email, providing domain address, blah. And so I constantly forget to check it. Because it's like one more. It's like if, if someone said, here's another email, check it. 
But a lot of the emails are going to come to the old email. You're just like, hey guys. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Penny walked through. She's hanging over there waiting to see if you got a better offer. Okay. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put him together really quick. Yeah. Oh, does Brenda he have said, a nose? Oh. Brenda said she's going to resend it. So, okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I put it Or in just put it in, a, in, you know, Facebook message. It's fine, too. Ooh, where are we going to put this? Am I correct there? Oh, okay, so sorry. I just looked at my photo. And he's a little lower. Well, this one's going to have a high nose. He's going to be high nosed. He's high beat. Ta-da. And so this, I, I really enjoy this glue. Um, because it allows me to reposition a little bit. You guys know, sometimes I need a second attempt. Oop, there you go. Whoop. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> okay. I'm not I'm not very good at thinking before. Oh. Angie says, don't forget to put the feet on first. Oh, sugar. Thanks, Ange. So glad you're paying attention. Flat side down, but don't cover your tabs. Oh. Carol says for those arm stands, yes. uh, she's wondering if we have other aminals because she's looking for like a sheep with a baby. No, not yet. But I've seen the elephant, the giraffe, and the lion, maybe? No, elephant, giraffe, there's a dog now. Okay. Oops. I no sheep yet, huh? No sheep. Uh, specifically for the baby, like counting sheep going to sleep kind Aren't of deal. You? It says, was looking for a sheep with baby. Hmm. So I assume it's a baby sheep. A baby sheep and not that the sheep <laughs> is cradling an infant, a, a human, a human. <laughs> you don't I, know. You just don't know about Carol. <laughs> Carol's always keeping us on our toes. <laughs> we don't know what they do down in Arizona. <laughs> we don't know. She likes her dogs. <laughs> Weren't they, didn't you say you went to her house? What, wasn't it wiener dogs? Oh gosh. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh. That was a ways back. Hey, Carol, I went to a hockey game. Was Sydney took me to a hockey game. So they did, they won like by a landslide. So it was almost not that exciting because they were just kicking butt. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this. Ooh. If it's stuttering, you need to thin down your paint. Or use a uh, fluid acrylic that works too. Do, 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 do. So your orange will definitely be a little bit more vibrant with the second coat. Vibrant. Vibrant. What about my palomas? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I can't. I can't even do you right now, man. <laughs> Carol says two animals, like the mom and the baby, like that she got for the elephant. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I got you, Carol. <laughs> John's just being difficult. Okay, here we go. Whoop. All right, there he is. You know, one other thing, he's got that glue dot stuff to him. One other thing he's gonna do a little, whoop, that's pretty fat, but that's okay. He's got fat little nose. Okay, um, now that he's together, I'm gonna put him back in there. The glue dot should still be active. Whoop, he still fits. He, why would he not still fit? I don't know, I'm scared. There you go. Uh, do, glue dots are helpful. Oh. Hold on, guys. I see what I'm doing. The glue dots are helpful. Um, it keeps them upright, so they because they there can be a little play in the wood. Um, it keeps them upright. Ooh, there you go. Um, and then when you're done, you just take it apart. Shoot, not that. Um, I didn't let it dry enough, I guess. Literally take it apart. Literally take it apart. The whole thing. Um, take the glue dots off and lay them all flat to store. <laughs> hey, Penny. She's like, it's dinner time, people. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and weigh this down. Line them up, weigh them down to, um, so that the glue sticks again. So, real quick. Ugh, I'm, gonna, I'm upset. This is so cute. <laughs> Okay, so we just wanted to say, we gotta get us a jump start on that pork chop jump sandwich. So maybe you're watching the replay, maybe you're watching it on YouTube. I don't know, but he's pretty cute. I love my little well, boy that's, guy. Well, that's one of the gnomes. You're doing all yep. three. All three. Because of the 23,000 Facebookers, yep. it's the cost this week is 23. 
Oh, this will be backwards because I flipped it, right? Will this be backwards? Is this right? No, 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 it's not coming yet. Oh, you're backwards again. Got to play the game, people. Got to play the game. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's right, right? There you go. <laughs> okay, so they're only $23 this week, and then they go back to $29. Okay, guys? Um, thanks so much for watching. I, oh. hope you're finding... I hope your Monday's going great. Do you have one more question, John? Um, Angie was asking what color the green is. The green? This green is not a fashion color. It is... Um, I want to say it's from Craft Smart, from Michaels, and it's um, it's like green apple, is what I think it is. It's their only one that they have that's that color. That color. So I don't have the bottle right here on me to help you out with that. Um, so there you go. You'll get these colors though if you order the kit this week. All right, have a great night. We'll see you next Monday. And don't forget to sprinkle. Okay, and then bye. tell us you sprinkled. Okay, bye.